Josh. Back for another round of podcasts. This one's on expected value. So let's run through this. We'll run through two examples. We'll run through um, sort of this example and then a the question from uh, an IB exam. Okay, uh, so a game is played rolling two dice. If the sum is either two or 12, you win two bucks. If it's seven, you win a dollar. Everything else, I assume, you lose your money and uh, costs 50 cents to play. So, X. Let's just organize our, oh my god, what a line, huh? <laughs> X equals X. The, the table is usually here for you. This is a big X equals a small X. So if we have um, a 2 or a 12, right. we get $2. $2. So let's That's say two dollars we do $1 or we do $0. $0. And we'll take care of the 50 cents later. We'll just, we'll just compare that to 50 cents later. Okay. So our probability now of getting a 2 or a 12 from two dice. Well, there's only one way to get a 2, yep. snake eyes. There's only one way to get a 12. Two Double sixes. sixes, and there's 36 total ways, so that's 2 out of 36. To get $1, I know from experience there's 7 ways to get a to get a 7, no, there's 6 ways to get a 7, is that right? Yep. 3 and a 4, 4 and a 3, 2 and a 5, 5 and a 2, um, six and a one. 1 and a 6, 6 and a 1, 2, 4, 6. So that's 6 out of 36, and then that's 8. 8 from 36 is 28. There's 28 ways to lose your money. All right. Okay. Now what? So now we just have to find our expected value, which is just <clears throat> multiplying the, the outcome, which is 2 times the probability. Right. Okay. So remember what, what probabilities are doing. We're either going to have um, $2, and we're going to have that 2 out of 36 times, or we're going to have $1, and we're going to have that 36 out of 36 times, or we're going to have zero dollars, and we're going to get that a whole bunch of different times, 28 out of 36 times. So it, the probability rules that you were taught still are valid here. It's not some different technique. It's just ands and ors again. So 4 out of 36 plus 6 out of 36 plus 0 out of 36 is 10 out of 36, which is 5 out of 18. 5 of 18. Let's just get a decimal so we can compare that to 50 cents. Uh, 36. So that's 27 cents. 27.7 cents. And it, get, it costs... So this is... What is that, Mr. Ops? What's, what's going on here? Well, that's money in my pocket kind of thing if I would play the game. is not each game, but over the long haul, so to speak. I would expect to have 27 cents in my pocket that I would win. Every time you play, you're expected to win. Yep. Around 27 to 28 cents. Yep. Now, it costs 50 cents to play. Uh, I just lost some money, I so think. So it seems like if you're paying 50 cents, and on average, you're making about 28 cents a game, you're losing. So 50 minus our answer, and we're making about... No, oh, I, we have to put the decimal work. in the 50. Ah, uh, good. So, uh, oof, what did I do here? 0.5 minus 0.27777 equals 23 cents on average. I'm losing per game. So is this a fair game? No. No. I'm losing 23 cents a game. 22 cents. Okay, if you played this game 100 times, how much would you expect to win or lose? Well, each time you play the game, you're expected to lose 22 cents. So times 100. I'm losing $22. Hmm. That adds up quickly. Yeah. So don't play this game. It's unless, of course, you're the house. Unless, <laughs> if you can unless, get someone to play the game. Unless you own game. the game. That's yeah, right. <laughs> right. Let's run through the mock question or uh, IB question. 